what is up define squad welcome 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 and welcome back if you are not new here it's your girl alex at defined by alex where we are defining our lives and building our dreams in that order i hope you guys are staying safe and you're well thank you for tuning in and if you're new here welcome what's up thank you for joining the squad so you guys before i get into this video i want to apologize for how i sound i'm a little bit under the weather so if i sound kind of stuffy then Listen, I'm sorry, I'm hoping it passed soon. Nonetheless, y'all, the show must go on. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create a offset design in your silhouette studio. Now, this is by far my most favorite design to make because it creates this illusion of what I like to call a knockout look where you have a word inside of a word and that way it creates more dimension and more creativity for you to design a t-shirt. So I'm gonna switch over to my computer and show you guys how to make this offset design in your Silhouette Studio. Let's go. All right, good people. So as y'all can see, we are in a Silhouette Studio. Now this is the basic edition. If you're new here, so far all of these tutorials that I've been making you guys have been in the basic edition, which means this is the free version of the Silhouette Studio, okay? So don't worry about having or needing to pay for anything extra once you purchase your Cameo because it already comes with the basic studio edition and you can design everything that you want in here as you're starting off, okay? So as y'all see here, I pretty much went ahead and created what we're going to recreate today, okay? So if you're following along, this is gonna be a really fun tutorial because again, you're gonna be able to create this fun design, which is called the offset, okay? So let me go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new canvas. And what I'm going to do here on my left hand side, just go ahead and select the text icon so I can start typing. And I'm just going to type boss. I'm going to capitalize that. Okay. Now I'm just going to type boss. What I'm going to do now is go back to my cursor and I'm going to make it bigger because the thing about the offset design is that you still want to make sure that both words are legible. Okay. So you're going to have to make the, the back of the design. So like the base, you want to make that bigger so that the word in the middle, the offset, you know, is legible. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep this as the default font that it's showing up here. Okay. Again, you can customize this to any way of your liking. And I do encourage you guys to play around with the different fonts so you can really get the look that you are wanting. So I like that. What I'm going to go ahead and do is fill this in by going over to my colors here on the upper left hand corner and I'm going to select black and also just select the black for the outline. Okay, so this is the first step. You just pretty much go ahead and type out whatever word you want or the idea that you have to start the offset. So the next step, go ahead and get your second word, okay? Which for me is gonna be babe. Now I'm gonna have this lowercase, okay? And now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger too. And just kind of like eyeball it. And what I'm gonna do so you guys can see it a little bit better, let me zoom this in, perfect, okay. So now you guys can see what I typically do before I create the offset is I mean I just have to kind of see it before I finalize it so then what I do um that looks okay I don't want to like overpower the word but I kind of want to give it like right in the center okay so that's good for me so I'm going to drag that back down slowly so I won't lose where I'm at a little bit but the silhouette studio is really good with making sure that you stay in the center. So you guys see the blue line right there? That lets me know that I'm in the center, which is good. So I'm going to find a font that is a little more girly and feminine, just because I think it'll really set the tone for the word babe. Um, and let's see here. I kind of just go through what I have. I have downloaded a few free fonts myself so just to add you know some flavor or whatever because sometimes these fonts just look a little boring and if you really want to have a really cute design then i would just suggest you change your fonts you know make something girly have something in cursive but like have it where it's still like again legible okay because sometimes the cursive just don't be getting it 
Um, so, okay. I think that one's okay. Sometimes I take the longest with deciding the fonts, y'all. But anyway, I'll just pick this one for today's video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. And I'm going to choose, let me see, I did red for the first one. I'm going to go ahead and do like a pink or something. Something that's a little cute. Okay. Now, now this is to me, it could be a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to uh, play around with the dimensions by just hovering over the little middle, um, I guess, corners and points. And that way I can go ahead and just really see how this is going to fit. Okay. So as I kind of eyeball this, pretty satisfied with how it looks. So now my next step is to pretty much just isolate the second text, okay? Because now we're going to get into creating the actual offset. So I'm going to highlight the second text. And what I'm going to go over here to my right-hand side and do is go to about fourth, the fifth icon to the bottom where it says open the offset panel. What you do is you open that and you select offset. Now, in this panel alone, you can play around with the um, distance in the corner. Basically, it's going to pretty much determine how much um, space you want for the offset or do you want it to be just the default distance, which is the 0.125. I typically keep it around the 0.125, um, but, you know, to each his own. You do what you want to do as far as this one. So now what I'm going to do is hit apply. And I'm going to come in here and drag, pretty much click on the actual text and not the offset, you guys. And I'm going to drag this down because now what we want to do is still see this indentation that we've created the offset. You guys see that? Okay, cool. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to a blank space and I'm just going to click down and drag to where I'm covering the offset. So as you guys can see here, it has its own little box. It's kind of faint, but I'm hoping you can see it. And this part is important to note because you want to make sure you highlight the actual offset for the next step here. So now the next step is to go over here to your modify panel, and then I'm going to select subtract. So now I'm going to select subtract. And as y'all can see here, that offset shape pretty much subtracted inside of the word boss and that's exactly what you want because now the reason why i wanted you to drag the actual word down is because what happens is now your word is going to fit right inside of that shape and that's what you want okay so this was a very smooth process and super easy again if you really wanted to step up your t-shirt designing game or if you feel that your designs are going to really be symbolic through an offset design this is going to be how you achieve that now one thing i want to point out here and i'm going to zoom in so y'all can see what i'm about to do given that the silhouette picks up everything meaning when it cuts it's going to pick up everything that you guys see here what i don't want is this little piece right here so quick fix and super easy what you can do is just click on this piece and delete it okay another thing i wanted to show you guys before i wrap up here is that you want to make sure that after you create your offset you go back and group these words you guys see how there are individual boxes around each letter what you want to make sure you do is that the silhouette needs to know that this is one whole piece, you guys, because if you don't go back and group this, you're going to just have a weird cut and it's not going to be one solid piece because that's what you want. So I would advise that you go ahead and select all of that back, like the, the layer, the first layer word, right? And then go right click. I'm sorry. I would just right click on my mouse and I just select group. So now this is one piece followed by dragging this back up. And now you see how now we have an offset shape. And if I just go ahead and select both of these items, I can move them and you guys can see how this creates, like I said, this offset shape, just like I showed you guys for the example, what the, you know, what the slide is or whatever to show you how I achieved this said design.
So that is it, you guys, for how to create an offset shape in your Silhouette Studio. Again, super easy, very beginner friendly. And I think this really helps you piece together how you can start designing your t-shirts or whatever you're crafting, right? Because this is this is what you can do for free. Again, I have the basic edition. I didn't pay for anything extra. The only thing I imported were different fonts and even those were free, y'all, okay? So highly recommend you guys play around with that. Let me know what you think about this design and this, this style of design. And I pray that you guys also wanna practice for yourself because again, this is actually, I think one of the best features I've discovered since having my silhouette cameo. So I'm gonna wrap this up right here for this tutorial guys, but hope you guys liked it. But this is how you create a offset design. All right, friends, so that is it for today's video on how you can create an offset design in your Silhouette Studio, specifically the Basic Edition. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I am so happy that I get to share my knowledge with y'all, okay? Because again, this is all a part of the process of starting to design in your own t-shirts and getting over that fear that you can't do it or it's too complicated or it's too intimidating. Trust me, y'all, I've gone through the same thing and when I tell you I can do it, I know you can too. So if you guys are liking this series, don't forget to send me a like, drop a comment, you know, connect with me on social media and all that good jazz because I love talking with you guys. This is almost the last ending, I should say, um, almost the ending of this series. And so I have one more video to drop and that will complete the entire Silhouette Studio series, okay? So as always, friends, thank you for watching. Don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and always choose yourself first. And I'll be back in my next video. Bye, y'all.